Wham Bam Security Cam is back. In today's episode, we'll find out what happens when you run from the cops or when your house ends up in the middle of a thunderstorm and so much more. Roll em. Matt woke up to find a notification from his security cam that someone had walked past his side door. When he looked at the recorded footage, he found two people dressed in black sneaking by. Okay, more like running by. What were they running from, you ask? That's a great question, and I'm glad you asked it. Let's see what Matt found as he continued reviewing the recording. Police were hot on their tails as they chased them around Matt's neighborhood. It looks like it didn't take long to apprehend them and they were marched back to one of the police vehicles after being arrested. Matt told us his neighbors had been discussing vehicle prowlers in the area on a local neighborhood group and he suspects these individuals may be related. Once the suspects were caught, the police were kind enough to go back and close Matt's gate. Hopefully that will help stop any future trespassers from running through his yard. This intersection sure has a nice stop sign. I hope it isn't a sign that anything bad is about to happen. Check out this SUV with a mismatched hood that pulled up to their stop sign and stopped. Good job, Chevy driver. They proceeded to wait patiently, a bit too patiently actually, but watch what happened when a car came up behind them. Well, that's definitely a creative way to take your turn at a four-way stop. The SUV ended up on the curb after narrowly avoiding taking out a brick mailbox. And when the driver backed up, they ripped their front bumper cover loose. Thankfully, the only damage done was a groove left in the grass and the bumper cover the Chevy driver left behind, of course. Charlie sent us a fun DIY video showing a utility locator doing some work on his truck. Let's take a look. I'm not sure about that color, but to each their own, I suppose. Judging by the way he tossed the sprayer away, I'm guessing he's not a fan of it either. It seems like the security cam suffered some secondhand embarrassment as it turned away right after the incident. We stole this next video from the Tesla Cam channel and it's a great example of why you should always make sure your security cams are running. Sentry Mode was keeping four eyes on Giselle's Model 3 as an SUV left a parking space, but nobody could have predicted what happened next. After backing up too fast and too furious, the driver stayed at the scene to own up to their mistake. Repairs ended up costing $9,729 US dollars and 52 cents. How's that for unnecessary detail? Giselle told us this happened on her birthday and that doesn't seem like a very nice birthday gift to us. Hopefully getting featured on Wham Bam Security Cam makes her feel a little bit better. Don't forget, we've got two more hats to give away to a lucky submitter. Keep watching to find out who won a hat this week and how to enter to win the last one. Our next video starts with a bang. Yep, that lightning strike was so intense, the power spike glitched out Maddie's security cam. Not only that, but the strike actually sparked a small fire, which only got bigger as time went on. Thankfully, only one person was in the house at the time, and he was able to escape safely. Matt doesn't know how he slept through this whole incident, as other people said later, they heard the strike from the other side of town. In addition to the fire damage, the smoke caused damage throughout the interior of the house. After the fire was put out, firefighters stayed for a full day to make sure it didn't restart. Maddie told us this is the third nearby house to be struck by lightning in the two years he's lived there. Yikes! You might consider placing some lightning rods nearby, Maddie. After all, they only take three copper ingots to craft. 
This mother raccoon brought her babies to our submitter's yard to clean up some leftover bird seed one night. What a good mama, teaching the next generation where to find food. Evidently things got too crowded because mom decided to climb up and eat directly from the bird feeder. When one of the babies tried to follow her, she got freaked out and jumped down from her perch. After a while, our submitter went outside to take the bird feeders down, chasing off the family of raccoons. It can definitely be annoying when something other than birds is eating all your bird seed. Even so, this little family sure is cute, but are they cute enough to be this episode's cute cam? You'd better watch this next video before making up your mind. Voita sent us this video of a family of boars rooting around near his security cam. The mother and her three piglets managed to dig up some grub before moving on. Well, what do you think? Were the raccoons or the boars cuter? Cast your vote down in the comments. Voida asked us to shout out his sister Alinka, who let him borrow her security cam to capture this footage. Thanks, Alinka. This submitter's father was visiting for dinner on Christmas Eve when someone drove into the back of his pickup truck that he'd left parked on the street. The elderly driver fled the scene after the collision, but the damage caused her vehicle to break down and the police were able to catch up with her. That's when they uncovered the reason why she was unfit to drive. According to our submitter, the hit and run driver had been enjoying a little too much spiked eggnog that evening. She was arrested for DUI and for leaving the scene of a collision while our submitter went to infinity and beyond. Leo was notified that a package had been delivered and expected it to be waiting for him when he got home. Sadly, a passerby also spotted the package and when Leo got home, it was nowhere to be found. Only a few hours after delivery, some guy stood at the end of Leo's driveway while checking to make sure the coast was clear and that nobody was watching. Leo was watching, albeit through his phone screen, but there was nothing he could do to stop what happened next. The thief made off with Leo's package, which Leo said contained a pair of size 6 shoes for his wife. I guess we'll never know what happened to them now. Here's another Sentry Mode video from a Model Y. The driver of this SUV thought she could squeeze in next to it, but when she realized opening her door would be difficult, she backed up to move over. During that maneuver, her SUV scraped against the Tesla and the whole thing was captured by Sentry Mode. Once she realized what was happening, she straightened out, but only so she could flee the scene. After parking elsewhere, she neglected to take responsibility for the collision or for the 1800 US dollar repair bill. Our submitter told us that justice will be served eventually and perhaps featuring this video will help identify her and hold her accountable. Oh boy, it looks like a certain delivery company is at it again. How might this go wrong? Well, I guess that's how. Our submitter didn't have much more information about this incident, so all we can really add to that is, mailboxes may be closer than they appear. Let's watch that one more time, shall we? Steven told us that when this crow found no food in this bowl, he went ballistic. I might not call that going ballistic, but we wouldn't want our viewers going ballistic if we forget to give away a hat. This week's winner is Ethan, who sent in this video we featured in episode 40. Congrats! We've still got one more hat to give away. To enter, send in your own security cam videos. Each one we feature is another entry to win. Also, don't forget to check out this episode when someone's angry ex lit the wrong car on fire. Or watch this one if you want to see more criminals getting arrested and see a guy ditch a weapon in our submitter's yard. Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon man. Please support the show.